you know, I never thought I'd come to this article, but this one is really bizarre. It's something you don't really see on YouTube people talking about, but let's just say that this one sparked controversy and it went viral. Man, what's going on with this world, man? <laughs> what is going on with this world? Bride Banning, 98 year old grandmother from wedding reception, story goes viral. Oh boy, this one, this, this is nuts. The story of a bride banning her 98 year old grandmother from a wedding reception has gone viral. But is it true? The bride who has not been named put her story on Reddit thread called I am an a-hole. That's a Reddit concept whereby people associate their, um, their opinions from others on Reddit about their behavior. So she's basically calling herself an a-hole because of what happened. This is this is really insane. The story has now gotten a national attention and wider feedback on social media. Here's what you need to know. Oh man. You know, if I ever see myself getting married, I mean I would never kick out or ban my grandmother. From my wedding rehearsal or, or my wedding reception. I mean, come on, like that's that's my grandmother. Like I would never do anything like that. This world, this world is already going to hell already. So this is um in the Reddit post, the woman revealed this has caused a huge fight. Then we're gonna send uh Something for not wanting my fiance's grandmother at our wedding. Oh boy. Here we go, y'all. My fiance, Freddie M, and I. Sorry, well, my fiance and I are getting married next month. Everything is going great, but we've been having a serious argument about having his grandmother at our wedding. We agreed to not have kids in our wedding. As we want the reception to be a huge party for your adult friends and family with dancing, loud music, and, a, and an open bar. However, for preciously the same reasons that we don't want kids there. I don't want his elderly grandmother in our wedding either. I said she could come to the ceremony, but not the reception. It will be extremely loud, and I want it to be a party atmosphere. And she will be extremely out of place for context. None of my grandparents are still alive. And he still has his last living grandmother. This has caused a huge fight since she said she has always dreamed about being at her well, grandson's wedding. Here's her oldest grandchild and she is probably won't be... Sorry. Okay, it's like some type of typo. She probably won't make it to the next family wedding, which is why I said that she, that she's more than welcome at a ceremony, but she will, she will just be too old, out of place at a reception. She and her both assist that she will be fine and wants to go to the party, but I just know it will eventually lead to us dealing with her and taking care of her. And I just want to get drunk and get loose with my friends. She's now really upset and won't talk to me. And my fiance is also angry. And I think I am within my right to meet this request. I am the bride after all. Bridezilla. She's a bridezilla. The thing that really gets me a little emotional on the inside is the fact that you don't want his grandmother at a wedding reception. You're too busy thinking about yourself. Okay, both of you agree that she shouldn't be at the wedding reception. I mean, I'm sure grandmothers have dealt with loud music at wedding receptions before. So, to me, I feel like you're not only thinking about yourself, but you're just acting really selfish to not have his grandmother at your wedding reception because you wanted to get drunk with your friends and act wild to carry on. Like, that is a... Some selfish 
thing I have ever read out of a woman's mouth. I get it. You want it to be about you and your winning day, but come on. You could have at least had his grandmother at the wedding reception to witness a beautiful moment, to have fun with friends and family. She's an adult too. Like the way you're talking, you sound like you sound selfish, bro. I don't like this at all. Here is the original Reddit post from the anonymous woman. I mean, I already read it though, so. She says that she has the right to, you know, say what she says. She has the right to not invite his grandmother to the wedding day, but I feel like that's crossing the line. You act like her being there is going to mess up the wedding reception. Even when she's the only grandmother she he has, you ain't got no choice but to take care of her. She can't take care of herself. I mean, this woman sounds stupid as I don't know what. Bride's jealous. And people criticize the bride on Reddit. I don't blame them. Because she's wrong for that. She's definitely in the wrongs for this. A bride is facing intense backlash after she banned her fiancé's grandmother from their wedding reception because she wants to get drunk and not worry about taking care of a 98-year-old woman. And you know what? I hope, you know, I seriously hope that her fiance, you know, wait, is this a, or is it the same, oh, is the same sex, um, wedding? I mean, same sex or not, she's wrong. I mean, this is just disgusting. Okay, so now he says, it, is that, um, is that not what bachelor party is for? Have you heard of clubbing? Go with your friends another time. Or just assign someone to grandma on duty. I'm sure she won't stay late either. Not only will, grandma, will great grandma not want to be there because of the noise. I'm pretty sure she's going to output. Uh, okay, there's some, some strange typos. Something out of the party because of COVID. And what does COVID-19 got to do with it? Oh my goodness, like, just reading the way she's talking, it sounds like she's very bitter and she has a nasty attitude towards the fiancé's grandmother because you don't want her there. Like, bro, this is just crazy. That's exactly what I was thinking. Can you just have a normal reception for an hour? And, and these are her words. It's not like grandma is going to be raging until 3 a.m. Also, who wants to sit down and eat a meal in a nightclub? Uh, she does because that's her. You got like you have a problem with it. This is the bride to be and just have a big party for grandma. Heck yeah, poor grandma deserves so much better than to be told you're too old for me to party hard around. Most old folks these days just want to be included. We so often forget they are still people too. And more often that not the elderly go for weeks without any sort of interaction uh, yeah interaction of communication with other people I mean sorry <laughs> i'm I'm reading all fast I mean with another person the baby bride needs to be less tall less tone deaf and more considerate. I don't know if this is the bride's words or not but this one is just trifling. She is just trifling and beyond gross. Why would you not have his grand, his or her grandmother at the wedding reception? Because you're just too, like I said, you're too busy thinking about yourself. I don't like reading this, what she had to say, but she's getting a tons of backlash on social media, and I don't blame her. Like they're just like me getting married and I don't want my mother or my grandmother or, or any of my family members at my wedding reception because of how my lifestyle is gonna be. And yet they already know about the lifestyle. Like I would never kick my family members out of my wedding reception. Like, come on, they deserve to have fun too. Old people just love to sit and eat a meal, listen to some music and dance and have fun. Like, what's your problem, lady? If y'all want the article, it would be in the description below. I just had to read this because she is the most disgusting human being I've ever seen in my life. Not only that this video made me so upset 
but it's the fact that you were too busy thinking about yourself, you and your fiance's wedding and your wedding reception. I mean, um, wedding receptions, and you didn't want his grandmother near the place. Did you even think about what she wanted to do at the wedding reception? Mm, mm, mm. This world is going to hell. It already has. Imagine if a 98-year-old grandmother was in a hospital very sick with COVID and she ends up dying instantly. And whose fault would be that? Your fault because you kicked her out of the wedding reception. I mean, you are the most trifling, despicable human beings I've ever came across in the article. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And if I were if I were the fiance, I would just leave her right out of the way because you disrespected the man's grand grandmother. His or her grandmother. You wrong. Y'all enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. Oh, before I, um, in this video, I was watching this video on YouTube of how American Justice System channel, which I know is like, most channels are just like scripted and fake anyway, but there was this video that has over 1 million views. The video made me so upset and made me go ballistic mentally because... The older sister wanted to test her younger sister, which is like 10 years old or 9 years old, see if she would steal $5,000 out of a man's pocket. So the guy, you know, he walks and he drops something and she was just playing Among Us. And then she was stealing it and then all of a sudden they came out and they just, yeah, yeah, just, just screaming at her and stuff. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? She's eight, nine years old. I'm sure. She, listen, I'm sure she 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 knew better than to steal money or anything, though. But yeah, she made a mistake. But do you do you really have to traumatize her like that, yelling at her and it, and just embarrass her like that? I mean, really, this was very uncalled for. And then, then the fake police officer gives her a donut at the end, and you made her cry. And the dude, he always does this, um, let me break it down, you know, doing the real talk thing, scaring her to death. And then you go to, y'all gotta talk for her, and she can't even say anything. She was scared. I don't care, you know what I'm saying, if she was stealing anything, but it's the way you did it. You could have went a different route. Bro, she's a nine-year-old child. And when I tell you the video made me so upset, I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it. And everybody that, that was saying the same thing, some agreed with the video, and some actually were against the video of, of an idea of scaring a nine-year-old child. Even the guy told her to give the cop a hug, gave you know a sister a hug, and she was crying. She was fighting back tears, but she wanted to cry because she was terrified and she was traumatized by it. I don't like videos like this. I really don't. Without the cameras, yeah, it would have been done in a different way. But with the cameras around, it makes it seem like you're doing it for views. And that's not the only video I, you know, I saw. There are like tons of videos of things like this online. Unbelievable. And I will put the original video in the description so you'll know what I'm talking about. Is channels like these are like fake. They should just let real authorities handle it. Y'all not embarrassed that child like that? Come on. And you see why I'm getting upset because of videos like this. I wanted to say this for a very long time and I'm glad I got it out. And if y'all know me, and if you watch my videos, you'll know that any video that rubs me the wrong way, I'm going to say something about it. I'm not going to just 
you know, sugarcoat and act like that didn't happen. If I know something is fake, it's fake. If it's way over the top, it's over the top. I'm not afraid to say what's in my mind. So, whether you disagree with me or not. So, like I said, if y'all enjoy this video, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want the article and the original video, it will be in the description. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Those will be in the description down below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and click that notification bell so you'll be notified from brand new content. So, yeah. I'll allow y'all later.